everyone welcome to another installment of the ivy trinkets page today we are um doing the um candlestick i'm sort of tempted to call it a candelabra but i don't know if that's a bit old-fashioned now we used to have one of these when i was a child on our dining room table um it sounds awfully posh it wasn't <laughs> So, uh, and it was a sort of silvery colour. It wasn't silver. I think it was stainless steel. So that's sort of how I'm going to colour it, just because that's how I remember. And also we've got a gold item over here. So uh, it would be fun to do a sort of silvery one. I don't know why that pot looks like it's leaning. And this one isn't really straight. I'm trying to straighten it out. It all looks a bit weird. I think it's because this one is squiffy. I don't know. Anyways let's do the silver part first now we did silver earlier with the key up here so uh, you'll be familiar with the technique it's not going to be any different and uh, but I might I might do it a little bit lighter I don't know we'll start with the cold gray five I know for the um, um, for the key we started with six I think so we might be a little bit lighter and again we identify the areas that are going to be a little bit darker so I'm thinking all around the edge, really. And what I want to do is to put a little bit of a darker layer around the edge and then less, a little bit lighter in so that it blends into the next colour. Here, I'll just put it a bit there, actually. It's quite a small area. It's easier to sort of fill it in. I want that bit to be slightly darker because we've got the shade from there. I've been waiting all day to get on with recording. I usually like to sort of go early in the morning and then when I run out of voice I stop. But uh, today my husband's been home this morning and he's been doing art and I've actually been working. So uh, now um, he's just gone out. My son came home from college at lunchtime which he started doing on a Monday. But he, um, he's got to go off to the orthodontist. We think he's having the rest of his brace um, fitted. He only had a very a little bit at the front. Yeah, I think I'm going to make that do. Move to the next one, which is the cold grey four. It's easier. You can't really see. It's easier to move down in sequence. I'm desperately trying to straighten that, and it just won't. Um, if you just if you move in sequence rather than missing any out the Blending and shading is easier. Okay. So anyway, um, he only had a bit of a, his track on um, the front of his top teeth. So really visible. But um, he was having his sort of shape of his jaw adjusted using a twin block, which uh, he found most uncomfortable. And uh, he stopped that about three months ago. But the um, orthodontist wanted to just wait and let his teeth settle before he put on the rest of his brace, which he's having done today. So I suspect he might be a bit sore later, poor boy. He finds us a bit sore. Um, this is cold grey three. This might be my last grey, actually. I'm keeping it quite pale. And uh, I think sometimes when you keep the greys pale, it looks more shiny. See what you think. I think I forgot to do the other grey there. But we'll see. You can always use a darker colour or even some black on the edges if you want it a darker colour. You could make it... I find that darker things look a bit like pewter. Something like that. You know, not everything has to be a shiny silver. So I said, our candlestick. I'm sure it wouldn't have been silver might have been silver plate I suppose we wouldn't that um, I don't know whether it's a gift though we wouldn't have really bought something like that there we go now we've got candles I still want to straighten this up I'm sorry I'm just going to move it a bit I don't know if that's helped me um, now the candles now I was thinking I couldn't decide what color to do the candles so what I've decided to do is do each candle a different color and then you can choose which one you like the best and maybe do all yours the same or you can just copy my madness and do them different colours. We didn't always have, I think we did actually always have matching candles. Um, we've done a red one up in the lantern that you can't see um, out of shot. So we won't do a red one. 
I thought we'd start with the purple. Just having a look what we've got here. I quite like the Delft blue actually. So I think we'll use that. I think it's quite an elegant colour. So we do the first candle with that. And with candles, because they are always rounded, these are quite slim. But what I'm going to try to do is to put more colour on the outside of the candle, a bit less in the middle. Gosh, I've gone really mad there. Out of the line, not all the way to the edge. Dear me. Out of the line again. So my aim is to make it darker along this end and this end and lighter in the middle. I have not achieved that by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm just going to erase that little bit here. It's really staining the paper and that bit there, which again, it's really staining the paper. So the best thing to do is to look at it really closely and get your colour really close to the edge. I can't do that from here. So I'm going to do my best. There is a bit of a lighter bit in the middle and I'm going to leave it there for fear of making a big mess. So that's my first candle colour. Um, let me have a look in my lovely box of pencils. I think I'll go for quite a dark green. I quite like this one. This is the um, cobalt green. Oops, I don't know if you can see. Maybe there. And let's do the middle one. Now, I was tempted to do an orange candle, but decided not to because we're going to do a flame, of course, in a moment. And the flame needs to show up. I'm going to do the same here. Now, on these candles, there's at the very top, Johanna's drawn a bit of a wibbly edge where there's a sort of dribble of wax. Now you could do that in a different colour if you wanted. You could do the top of the candle lighter or whatever. But I'm going to keep it simple and just stick with what I've been doing. So darker on the outsides and a bit lighter in the middle. So uh, news broke today on Instagram, which was very exciting, that uh, Johanna's finished her new book. Wow, we're all going to be quite excited about that. I'm just choosing my next colour while I'm pondering. Um, yes, I'm going to go from magenta. So it's a pinky, dark pink. Okay, I'm going to keep them all quite dark. I think the colours look more elegant. Um, if I was choosing candle colours, these are what I would choose unless I had white. But colouring white is, is, is tricky. Anyway. Um, so same method again. So that was exciting about Johanna. I, oh, I was going to mention to you, I just remembered, that these videos from this series are going to be premiering on um, um, YouTube at 3pm UK time. Now, when I set the video up to premiere, it appears immediately on YouTube for you to be able to go and um, see. So I hope, I'm assuming that YouTube gives you the time in your time zone, I'm hoping. And what you can do is click set reminder and that will send you a message. I think for me, it sends me an email and a notification on my tablet, but not one on my computer. It's a bit confusing. Anyway, and that tells you that it's coming up, that time's coming up to watch it. So if you want to watch it when it premieres, that means you'll be among the first people to watch it. And I am gonna try really hard to always be in the chat so then you can come and say hi, which is always nice, ask me questions or just chat to anybody else is there. If I can't be in the chat, I will leave a message beforehand in the chat saying I can't be here. You can leave your questions then in the comments, although I've left chat to replay on, which means it will show every time the video is played so I can see it after. But if you've got a pressing question, it's much better to uh, use dark cadmium orange to leave it in the comments because that I always get a notification if I get a comment so I can immediately go and see that and answer it. Now when we do flames it can be quite tempting to do um, light coming out you know some sort of lines that is oh which is nice or, or a sort of um, halo of light around the edge and I or this might be lighting up the top of here, so you might want to put some
colour there or the top of the candle, something like that. It's quite fancy. It's not that easy. Now, Claire Holloway colouring, I think she's called. And if you look for Claire Holloway, you'll find her on YouTube. She has a video about how to do light from lanterns and things like that and get it all right. So if you want to do that in a picture, that's brilliant. This particular picture, because it's just an object, it's not in a room or in any context, I wouldn't bother with worrying about doing any light coming from there. So we're now moving to cadmium orange. I'm going over the top of the orange I've done already and going up a little further up the candle. This is really similar to what I did with the other one. So um, she um, she has a good video on that, so I gather. I haven't looked at it myself, but I've heard, seen lots of high praise of it. Probably should watch it to learn myself. <laughs> but anyway, if you want to learn about that, that's where to go, I would say. There we go. And we're just finishing off so that is those i mean it's quite a simple one um i feel that these could look a little bit more three-dimensional if i put a bit more of a darker gray on them so i'm gonna grab push you up a tad this is the cold gray six which we haven't used yet and i'm gonna try to just put a little bit on the edge I think it might help to make that look a little bit more rounded. It might not work at all, but we'll see. And I'm just going to go over that line a bit more. And around the edges of these sort of, um, what they call candle holder bits, cups. I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, it's been exciting to see a bit more of Johanna's book. I'm hoping that now she's finished it, she might um, show us a few snippets. A few more sneaky peeks. We've seen a few. We've seen a sort of library room, I think. Am I making this up or have I really seen it? I don't know. There was an armchair in the middle of a room with, was it lots of plants? Now I'm doubting myself. There's definitely an origami room. There was a lost property office, wasn't there? Because she asked for people to give suggestions of things that might be in it. I remember that. And, um, there was, yeah, the origami room as well. Oh, and a gem room, which I think she said one of her girls had asked for. So, uh, yeah, we've got plenty to uh, to keep us going. I think they're get, it's definitely not going to be a book I finish in um, 29 days, which 30 days of colouring took me 29 days to finish. 30 days of creativity, sorry, I will say it wrong. Um, no, so it won't take me that short a time. I can see a bit of a difference there. You may not be able to. You may think that was some sort of just a bit of a over unnecessary fuss. I'm going to try and straighten you up again. I don't know what's going on. I'm <laughs> in between videos. I'm going to try and straighten things up. I get a ruler or something. I don't know what's going on. It's most odd. Uh, perhaps it's the fold in the book. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's quite short today. But um, I think we finished. So I'm happy. As I say, you might want to draw some lines coming out to show that it's glowing a little bit more. You might want to put some glowing bits on the candelabra, but the risk with that is that it won't really show up because it's quite pale. If you did it a darker colour, they show up better. So I know I'm going to stop waffling. I'm going to go. But thank you so much for watching. And as I say, remember to have a look and look for the scheduled videos. There are one, two, three, four. There are six left in this series and they'll be premiering. So you can go and set a reminder and watch them when they first come out. If you're up, if you're awake, if you want to, if you're free. But if not, you can catch up just in the normal way. So um, that's all good too. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you... Um, um, enjoy the rest of your day and happy colouring.